everyone and welcome back to another Surface Interval with the Dive Monsters. I'm Dive Monster Junior and... I'm Dive Monster Senior and today we're gonna talk about a fantastic underwater light. We bought something like a year ago and it still works fantastic. And stay tuned, you're gonna hear a lot about it soon. talking about the Sofern SD05 which is for me a really handy underwater dive light and a monster. Why is it a monster? This little creature has 3000 lumen. Well that's what actually the description says. I can't measure it. I don't have the technical instruments here but it's bright AF. <laughs> And this light actually has three settings the low medium and high so why did we actually buy that we bought this because well it was some time ago when I decided hey let's go night diving again because after my um, advanced course that was actually just the one time I went night diving and we decided you know what we should go night diving again and what do you need when you go night diving of course night lights. Lights! I, sorry! <laughs> yeah. So you need lights underwater when you're going night diving and we really just wanted something like budget friendly, handy, just there, you know? And we actually got a great deal! Yes, I made a little bit of research and because Daisy usually brings our big video lights which we're gonna talk in one of our next episodes, I wanted to have a look at a really low budget underwater torch which is more or less even just a back up light mm. and it's not only good of course for night diving it's also great during day diving if you go let's say a little bit deeper and want to bring back the colors the real colors of the underwater world you need a light or if you want to go under corals in little overhangs that is a perfect little light and after some research I decided to order two of them. We got a great deal right now. You get it for 40 or 50 dollars, something like that, delivered via Amazon. And speaking about light, we actually talked about in our previous surface interval about the importance of lights when diving underwater. So check that out. So anyway, that light came in a nice handy box and there was everything in the box what you need. And it actually comes with of course the strap, the dive light, the battery, o-ring and the charging cable for it. Now, one of the cool things is that you also can use two different batteries. The one, the bigger one, which we have because well go big or go home is the 21500 which has a bigger capacity when it comes to the power output the other one is i think the 18650 which is a pretty standard battery rechargeable of course and a little bit smaller so the cool thing is that this torch also comes with an adapter so you can put the small battery in that adapter put it in works perfectly the charging time was about three hours at the first time now in the last year i charged it at least 50 times it is on each of my dives it's on heavy usage and i'm not really taking care of my equipment and it's still working i mean it's just a really nice handy tool and one of my favorite part of it is actually taking the battery out I just love this yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's perfect fitting. It's it's great fitting. And as you can see, it's just really wow. See that again? Wow. It's really it just goes down nice and smoothly. And no matter how many times I drop that thing, the LED is still working. There's no scratch on it, and I'm absolutely happy with that. Mm -hmm. 
Some of you may want to know how long does it last. Now, after one year of using it, I just recharged it again and made a test. So in 100%, which is the maximum, which is high, it can actually last for 57 minutes without switching it off, just full on high. And in the like 57 minutes, it goes a step down. It just flickers a little bit and then it goes a step lower, which is the medium and stays there for a few more minutes. And you have about 20 more minutes mm -hmm. just to surface. Now, I did the same test, which is using a little bucket full of water, charging, throwing it in on 50% and it was on for four hours. So if your dive lasts four hours, you are a really lucky one if you need lights the whole time or if you go on a day trip like with Apo Island for with three dives, it lasts you the whole day on 50%. Now here's the fun part, when I use it for <laughs> night diving, he only uses 25%, which is the lowest, so he could basically stay down there for the whole night. <laughs> yes, just to be safe. And 25%, it is enough. You can see that in some of our videos where I'm floating around in the background, it is absolutely enough light. And one other advantage is that it has a quite narrow angle. Because on a night dive, if it's too wide, you chase away all the creatures. So with that one, you actually see something moving, you go next to it in the sand, <laughs> you know, and have that little creature just on the side of the light. And you can just watch it for the next 10 minutes. And if it's for the next three hours, fair enough, on 25%, that lasts long enough. Now, let's talk about some things you need to know and things you should consider when buying or getting this Sofern light. One thing is, you may want to consider a different one if you want to make videos because despite the fact that it's really, really bright, it has an uneven light output with a hot spot in the middle. So you will have different light circles, if you want to say like that, like a corona, <laughs> from the middle to the outer points which is not perfect for video lightning. However, if it's for macro or like tiny, you know, like frogfish or nudies, it is perfect. You can just put it on top of your camera and make macro shots. Yes, put that in the center of that hotspot and you're gonna burn <laughs> out their retina and fantastic. You, you will leave a lot of blind seahorses behind. So. Behind pygmies. Oh. Oh, fucking pygmies. <laughs> And another thing about the sofa light is, it's in there, it's an underwater dive light, which means it is not technically for land use. Why? Because it gets really hot. Yes, after one or two minutes, you really can't touch it anymore. It gets too hot underwater, there is no problem. But if you think you take this for trekking at night or camping, just forget about it. It no. may last. <laughs> for you to go to the bushes for some weeing and bag, but after that it just gets too hot. And if you have it on a couple of minutes, it may even that this magnetic switch gets stuck and then you can't turn it off. Yeah. Happened to us when we just threw it in our equipment box and somehow it got turned on. We tried to turn it off, didn't work. We removed the battery, let it cool down, reassembled it. And it works fine. And it works fine again. So, so that is like the advantage disadvantage because switching it on, as you can tell, you just have to this little um, le not lever, this little magnetic switch. Magnetic switch here, which you can easily do with one hand actually when you're diving. So if you have a camera or have something in your hand, you can just switch it with your two fingers or even one with just thumb. <laughs> you can just use your thumb. See. So it is. You know, a, both a perk and... Uh. Yes, but we bought it for diving and that's <laughs> why we use it. It's still good enough if you have to go on a shore entry that you have to look for your way. You still can use it for the next one or two minutes because then you go in the water anyway. So this is not an issue. I don't need more and I don't... I can't even imagine more 
value for money than this 40 or 50 dollars which so, it costs now so if you want to get this beautiful sofa and light go check our video description again it is just an affiliate link we get a few maybe cents or a dollar but the price is the same for you so you know you, we're not cheating you it just helps us making videos like this and of course reviewing and maybe buying a bigger light Yes, and that's it for this surface interval. In one of the next issues, we're gonna talk about our video lights we are using, our complete setup we are using, something about the advanced open water course, and a lot of other interesting topics. So, I'm Rudy, Dive Monster Senior. I'm Daisy, Dive Monster Junior. See, See you in, in the, the next, next video. video. Bye! Burn. Because it's still noisy anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, uh, Roy is running around for the next one or two minutes because then you go in the water anyway so this is not an issue I should have the camera pointed at me <laughs> I'm, I'm the first Ma, I'm the first one, go, okay So, today's video we are going to be talking up. Shh, quiet Quiet, squeaker <laughs> Do I have to spit on my shades if they become foggy? No. Ma, can you please point the camera to me to see if it works? You mean ya? Yeah. Yeah. Works? Like me only, not Papa. Yeah, like that? Yeah. Okay, just give me a sec. Oh my god. So. Okay, Papa. Can you put face to Papa? Just me. Just move to the... Okay, that's fine. Fire in the disco! Why well, you are also dark now? Ah, yeah, I have shades. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cut. Cut, cut. <laughs>